What is up guys, let's take a look at the controversial victory that Chris Weidman had over Bruno Silva. Some people were saying that it should be turned into a no contest. It was originally a third round TKO, then it was changed to a decision. The reason why it was changed is because it looked like Chris Weidman landed a flush left hook, but after they looked at the replay, Chris Weidman actually landed two flush finger pokes to the eyes of his opponent, Bruno Silva. Now there was multiple eye pokes in this fight, I think maybe three, one of which they both poked each other in the eye, and then ultimately this one-two eye poke combination by Chris Weidman is what put Bruno down and then ultimately cost him the fight. Can you hear me? Oh, I know, I Chris Weidman had reacted to the situation during the post-fight press conference. I, I'll never, I'll never question a guy if he's saying he gets poked in the eye. But you can't just drop every time you feel like something's touching your eyeball. You know, um, you know, he poked me in the eye bad one time, and I stood there, took it. Unless the ref's going to say something, I don't drop. He, he dropped again. I don't know. Like I was looking for a way out. I don't know. But that, like, you can't just turn your back and, and fall to the ground every time that your eyeball feels poked. Some fighters reacted to this. Derek Bronson said, wow, double eye pokes to the finish. That was wild. Then he says, no contest, the only play here. Deanna Belbita says, come on, it has to be no contest. No, I guess eye pokes are legal now. Sadiq Yusuf says, that's just wrong, man. With everything that comes with losing a fight, I feel for Bruno. Brian Kelleher says, I'm sorry, but there's some favoritism taking place here. Just in case he says, too bad UFC don't want to change those gloves. Now this is Chris Weidman's first victory since he snapped his leg at UFC 261 in 2021. And when asked about retirement, he says, I've considered it plenty of times. I think if I would have lost tonight, if I would have not gotten my hand raised, it could have been the last time. He then goes on to say, I had that in my mind. If I was in there and I was just, I don't have it anymore. I may have put the gloves down, but it didn't happen. And I got the win, so here I am. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Chris Weidman's victory, which was a TKO, now a decision should be a no contest. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below.